1957? Yeah. I, guess I can't hear that. You yeah. can't hear it? I can't hear it. I guess you could if you uh, yeah. if you did it long enough. <laughs> well, I'm hard of hearing. Oh, okay. It sounds real loud to me. The F.W. Woolworth Company, of course known as Woolworths, has a lot of history, not just in Bakersfield, but globally. Frank Winfield Woolworth opened up the first successful Woolworths Great Five Cent store in July 18, 1879, with the help of his brother Charles. You know, together they they pioneered and developed merchandising, direct purchasing, sales, and customer service. I mean, that stuff's still used today by big box stores, and they were the pioneers. By 1904, there were six chains affiliated with stores in the United States and Canada. In 1912, Frank had the idea to merge all 596 stores. That move alone had the stock flotation raised over $30 million for the five founders. In 1910, Frank commissioned and designed the construction of the Woolworth Building in New York. At the time, it was the largest skyscraper in the city, and what's even more wild, the entire thing was paid for in cash. For many years, the company strictly did five and 10 cents, hence the word five and dime stores, right? But in the spring of 1932, it added a 20 cent line of merchandise. And on November 13th, 1935, the company directors decided to discontinue the selling price limits altogether. One of the notables that Woolworths is known for is a civil rights movement where four black students sat down at a segregated lunch counter in Greensboro, North Carolina. They were refused service, touching off a six month sit-in and economic boycotts that became the landmark of a civil rights movement. The demise for Woolworths came when they converted to Woolco, which was their move to compete with the big box stores that were coming online like Target, Walmart, Kmart. They just couldn't compete. They actually leased out part of their buildings to third party operators. It was kind of a common practice back then, but eventually they would remove those. They would downsize to smaller floors and eventually in 1982, Woolco announced they would be closing all their United States stores. Hey everybody, it is Billy at Be Tough Man. I am here in downtown Bakersfield at Woolworths, one of the last, if not the last, Woolworths in the country. We're gonna look at it, talk a little bit about the history of this place, see what it's turned into. It's really interesting what's inside there. We'll take a look. So join us as we look at Woolworths. This plaque here sits outside the building as you walk in. Um, it is part of the Kern County Historical Society and it was dedicated in 2015. So this building still has its nostalgic Woolworths logo on it. And a pretty cool building. It's like a step back in time, man, coming down here and seeing this. So we're gonna head in right now. Not only is this an antique shop, but it is a 50s diner and uh, offers Bakersfield some of the best hamburgers and shakes. And uh, man, that's a tradition that's been here for a long time. Yeah. Are you guys regulars here? Oh, yes. You are? Why do you keep coming back here? What makes you guys want to come here? I love it because of the diner. Okay. I love it so much. And I love coming in here because I have the house full of antiques. Oh, you do? So yes. you're antiquers, right? I'm an antiquer. Okay. Yes. And this would be considered a premium antique place, right? I mean, yes, it's, it would. it's. And downstairs also, which yeah. is really great. Right. Plus, it's just a wonderful store. Yeah. Fun. yeah. It takes you back yeah. in time, right? It does. It's like a time machine. And it good music. Right. Yeah. yeah. I love the good music. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. But, oh my gosh. For years. Yeah. yeah. I love it. But the food is so good. Yeah, we're going to try it. We're going to yeah, try it. Have it yet? No, we're going to oh, try it yes, today. Oh my gosh. Let's get a peanut butter malt. Oh, okay. Peanut butter malt with no chocolate. Okay. Sounds good. And I'm going to try it. Fast. Okay. I'm going to try. I'm going to hold you to that. Okay. I'm going to hold you to that. All right. <laughs> They've got a whole section here for cat people. Got a whole cat section. Man, I had this when I was growing up. It's a bionic man or something like that. You, there's a little thing you push on the back and it makes his lungs go in and out. And I think it makes his bloodstream like, yeah, there it is. See that right there? Like it makes his bloodstream go, like when you push this thing, like the fluids go through that. So that's an iconic toy.
course, here you can find all your favorite Elvis VHS tapes. So this is the top section, and there is a lower floor here. I'll kind of venture down into it and see what it has to offer. Yeah, man, that's crazy. Hi, good, just checking out the bottom section here. There's a lot to look at. There is. Service elevator they probably used back in the day. They probably kept everything, like all their inventory downstairs and then brought it up to the service elevator right here. It's the Duke. You can hear that. 1957? Yeah. I can hear that. You can't hear it? I can hear it. I guess you could if you uh, yeah. if you did it long enough. <laughs> well, I'm hard of hearing. Oh, okay. It sounds real loud to me. It's like it's pretty oh, loud. Yeah. I mean, a car is not going to hear you, but if you're going down the street and you need somebody to get out of your way, you know, I might do yeah, it. Yeah, they would do that. Yeah. Do it. Let's see this thing. It's good. This yeah. thing's nice condition, isn't it? I mean, for a 1957. Yeah, let me tell you, dude. Man. Man, I guess, dude. Wow. I'm gonna say that these are rock solid burgers, dude. I'm here with Jeremy, and you're kind of heading off the uh, the cooking area here, right? So, Absolutely. Now you guys have a reputation of some of the best burgers and shakes in town. How did that come to be? Like, how did you get that together? Hard work, commitment, dedication. No, it's the team. It's the, it's team? the team. We're in the people business, not the burger business. We strive to take care of the customer. We uh, treat our staff right. They take great pride in taking it care of the customer because of that yeah. and therefore the food quality follows that now you know what's interesting is this really does it's like a throwback right i mean when you're sure the way this i mean it does it's it's a throwback to the 50s right i mean it kind of fits i mean was that part of the plan when you were putting this all together to kind of go and fit into the whole scheme? your brother opened this restaurant about 11 years ago and we said it looks like an old-fashioned 50s burger and shake place if we grab that nostalgia keep the history and the nostalgia of what that was It'll create an atmosphere for people to come and experience, not yeah. a place to just get a burger, but yeah. an experience. Well, I think you've done a great job on that, man. And I'm telling you, I will back that this is some of the best burgers and shakes in town. All right. Yep. Check this stereo out, man. This thing was probably a uh, pretty nice piece of equipment at one time. Remember when everybody used to be into models, man? Remember that back in the day? I don't know if people do that anymore. I don't think so. Could be wrong. People may be into it. I think I had this as a kid. I'm not sure, but I think I did. Man, someone here won the, it was in the National Finals Rodeo in Heston, 1987, man. Here's their buckle, man. Talk about an achievement. You have to use the restroom. The lower floor is where it's at. You know what's crazy about all this, man? When you look at all this stuff, right? This millions of stuff here. I don't know how much stuff here, but there's a lot of stuff, right? Multiple floors of stuff. Everybody, you think about the amount of people that had their hands on this stuff in their lifetime, right? I mean, this is like, I mean, I don't know, man. It's hard to explain like how many people, a lot of them aren't with us here today, you know, owned a lot of this stuff, bought it, you know, thinking it was, it was part of their lives. You know what I mean? And here it is in one big collection down here at Woolworths, man. It's pretty incredible. I can tell you that was a lot of fun, man. It's like going in a time machine going in there. The burgers, top notch, and uh, definitely a cool place to come. If you are visiting Bakersfield, stop by the Woolworths, man, a historical landmark in the city. So anyway, there you go. There's a look at Woolworths in Bakersfield.